The next lesson is dedicated to object properties, navigation, and views. Let's open the Cottage 3D from the Samples folder. Now, let's look at the main types of navigation. The first, as you've already understood, is with the mouse wheel. Zooming in and out. Also, pressing down on the mouse wheel allows you to move the drawing. In the upper right corner of the drawing you will find the locator to help you navigate the drawing. We can also use the status bar, selecting PAN specifically to move elements of the drawing. To end the command press enter or escape. Navigation is also possible using a zoom. We'll specify with a frame what we want to see arbitrarily. These are the navigation methods we use most often, and also, we have additional tools in the View tab. The Navigate group. Here's the same pan. Zoom. We can choose a parameter based on which we want to view the image. Let's select real time, and using the pressed left mouse button, we can zoom in or out of our drawing. The previous option shows us the view that was before this one. The other views are intuitive and you can figure them out or use basic navigation with the mouse wheel. Next are the secant planes, which allow hiding all objects located outside the space between these planes. Let's choose the front. The position of the secant plane is adjustable using these sliders. Remember, secant planes are not drawing objects, but represent display parameters. We won't be using this tool, it mostly pertains to 3D tools. Let's also look at the virtual trackball, which allows a 3D view rotation depending only on the horizontal vertical orbit. The free orbit allows us to work in any direction without reference to the planes. We can also rotate using the shift key and mouse wheel. Next up are perspective view and orthogonal view. The 3D model's perspective is displayed in perspective projection mode. Orthogonality displays the model in orthogonal projection mode. That's all for object navigation. Now, let's briefly go over the properties toolbar, with which we are already familiar, and we know that it's a non-modal dialog box, like all the toolbars. The properties panel also contains groups, which list specific parameters. Many of these parameters can be edited, and they will automatically update on the drawing. The left column displays the properties or parameters of objects, on the right, their values. If several drawing elements are selected at the moment, then the property field show varies. This means that among the selected objects, there are two or more objects having these properties, but the values don't match. For instance, layer, position X, position Y, and name. At the top of the properties window, there are mode buttons and object selection commands. Let's create a new drawing and draw lines and circles on it. We have two modes of selection, multiple. and single. The select command. This command is similar to the left mouse click and works depending on the chosen selection mode. 
the invert selection command. This command allows us to invert our selection. The select similar objects command. The command allows you to select identical primitives in the drawing. The quick selection command. The command opens a dialog box that allows you to configure quick selection of objects. The remove from selection command. It allows you to exclude any type of object from selection. The leave in selection command. It allows us to select only the objects that we will choose. The following commands select all objects and unselect all objects. These commands allow you to select all the drawing elements or deselect them. That's it.